and welcome to the first episode of Within Heckling Distance, uh, a second podcast presented to you uh, by Bannertown USA. I'm here, Jack Simone, or Bannertown Jack on Twitter, with my co-host of From the Rafters, Sam. Say what's up, Sam. I'm here. Yep. And then we actually have two new guests who are new to the Bannertown Podcast Network, if you want to call it that. I'll start with you, Liam. Would you like to just say what's up, who you are, and everything? Uh, hello, I'm Liam. I'm six foot four. I'm single, ready to mingle. So hit me up. <laughs> I call absolute cap that you're six foot four. You're probably six. I, I will, like I will show you. I'll show you my fucking license right now. Six that foot license four. doesn't mean shit. Well, Your license, license doesn't mean shit. Mean shit. I'm five ten. ten my life. I five ten. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. Sam, I'm gonna you on your list. On you. Uh, I think I'm six three because that's probably what I wrote. Pretty sure you can just write whatever you want and they'll put it on your license. <laughs> in, Jesus name, in Jesus' name, no more cap. I am six oh, foot four. Fun fact: my friend Danny and Liam, you know him, but Sam, you want my my friend John Baxter. He put five eleven on his license. They had a typo, so he is six foot eleven on his license, and they haven't oh, what changed a, it. What an animal! <laughs> Right, they're gonna say it was five one. <laughs> no, he's six That's... foot eleven, and he asked them to change it the last time he got it updated, and they were just like, "No, nah, you're just six foot eleven, bro." <laughs> so he's uh, for all you ladies looking for a six foot eleven man, my friend John is out there, uh, officially, uh, legally six foot eleven. So uh, there's that. But uh, this podcast is kind of just a, a fuck fest of whatever we feel like talking about. Um, from the Raptors is going to stay Celtics focused, NBA focused, uh, with some respectable guests. This one's just going to be guys talking about random shit that we want to sports related. But if we can dive into other topics as we see fit, if it's in the current news, but, uh, our first topic today, I'm going to actually let wait, 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 Jack, you just not going to introduce me. Is this yeah, what the fuck? I did. I did say Danny too. When you interrupted me by going, I'm that's absolute cap that you're saying. Well, I was, well Liam was splitting some egregious cap. I had all to right, call him right. out. Well, Danny, okay. you can say what's up. I thought I introduced you, but you had to call Liam out. So, go ahead, Danny. Uh, what's going on, guys? My name's Danny. You may know me as the OG guest on <laughs> Fair Town USA. From the Raptors, um, yeah. <laughs> recurring podcast guest, you know, the people's fan, the gambling man. They call me Danny Overs. Um, yeah. <laughs> Fun fact, Sam, the first ever episode of From the Rafters was recorded at Danny's house. The three of us on really? one microphone. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, nice. can't so act the, like it's not on clap. one microphone. What, one microphone. Like three guys. <laughs> yeah. No, so it was cute. me, Danny and my brother, Henry. We, it was oh, okay, okay. Be a shit. <laughs> it was terrible. But we've up, up the production value a little. And also, funny thing, one of the episodes I recorded with just my brother, Henry, <laughs> I go, have you guys seen Sesame Street? Do you guys know Sesame Street? Yeah, yes, I'm like, familiar. Yeah. Okay, okay. You know the count, like the the vampire dude. Yeah. I, I go, I go, Henry. This is my brother Henry. I'm here with it. And Henry. Just goes, "Good evening." Into the microphone like a fucking vampire, and I play it like once a week, and my mom just cries laughing because he sounds like a moron. But hey, um, Henry, say hello. Good evening. Uh, <laughs> disgusting. No, yeah, I love it. But um, as I was saying. I'm going to have Liam explain our first topic uh, for this debut episode because uh, okay. he actually thought of it. So go ahead, Liam. Okay. So I was watching – I was at the bar. I was just finishing up my shift, and I, I was watching some sports, and I was like, God, I really think I could do that. You know, I really I really think that I could make an impact on sports. Like if they just put me in – like put me in coach. Like I'll go in there and block. <laughs> so I started going down each sport. So, you know, baseball, hockey, basketball. If you were subbed in off the bench – at let's say like five minutes in the first period quarter whatever do you think you can make an impact in any way so Which uh, for first? example yeah we'll, we'll start with nfl do you think you could if you were like on the offensive line do you think you could block fuck no do you think no. you could catch a do you think you could catch a pass or <laughs> no. get a first down like let me hear your thoughts <laughs> okay no. so here's my thing with the nfl okay. yeah you're thinking all offense you're thinking big picture that's just not me Danny, I you were not built for defense. That's not what I was saying either. Liam. Okay. Continue. I am convinced I can be an NFL kicker. A hundred percent. Because believe it or not, I've kicked a 50 yard field goal before. And I, I haven't hit, hit I've seen it. I've seen it. I haven't hit I haven't hit legs in months before that. So if I religiously hit legs, I actually am taught how to kick a football. <laughs> I think I could beat some of these schmucks in the NFL. You saw week one, everyone was missing a kick. It was crazy. 
Uh, I could absolutely be in the NFL. For for a quick clarification, quick, Danny, Liam, and I are friends from high school, and then Sam and I are friends from from the Raptors and Celtics. From so, Twitter. yeah, from Twitter, basically. But we're we're friends differently. So it's two different worlds colliding here. But Sam, for uh, so if you hear me explaining stuff to Sam, that's why Sam twice a week, Danny tells me, Jack, I still have four years of college eligibility I left. I do. I have so <laughs> much eligibility. It's crazy. Get Nick Saban on the phone. <laughs> So uh, he, he's convinced that he can get onto a D1 football team and kick field goals for him. Yeah, and if you could play for one D1 team right now, what would it be? Unranked TCU. Sam Ellinger is legit. He's going to be the guy. <laughs> Patriots should draft Sam Ellinger because he's the grittiest dude I've ever seen. Plus, <laughs> they love white dudes. So, like, I don't know. Heaven. Sam, could you step onto an NFL field and do anything? No, because I hate football. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Sam, Sam hates football. Oh, no. Do you want to do your rant again? Do your rant. I here. passionately rant. hate football. Really? I just Wait, think it's so funny. Right. Explain yourself. So football, uh, you sit there for three and a half hours, and they play for like 10 minutes, and they stand around for the rest of it. And then, then you got the linemen who are just big. Like they don't yeah. actually have like a talent. They're just okay, big. no, that's absolute cap. That what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, the they have offensive to have or defensive linemen. Offensive. offensive, offensive. Okay, yeah, that's a little less skill, yeah. but they still have to be nimble as fuck. They have to like, yeah, dude, you have to be like three hundred eighty pounds and able to stop on a dime. Like that's they insane. still run faster than me. They can beat my forty time, and they have like a hundred fifty pounds on me. Yeah, can right, but it's not it's not a skill. Pounds. It's it's an athletic ability. It's different. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they have skill. If, I just think if you're just big naturally gifted with being 380 pounds and you're tall and you eat yourself to death, you can be an offensive lineman. <laughs> well, listen, well, okay, I'm, you can say I'm, the same I'm, thing I'm, about Zion. Zion's a unit. <laughs> yeah, Zion is a thick boy. Like I'm a pretty big guy. Like I'm built like a fridge. I don't have any athletic I'm built ability. Built like a fridge. <laughs> I am built like a fridge. I'm big. I'm in the way. I like snacks, you know. But like I look at these. I look at these offensive linemen who are, like, double the size of me, and I'm like, the fact that their hearts aren't stopping every time they move five feet, like, that, you got to give them that. Like, there's got to give them credit because they're not dying, all right? Yeah. yeah. dude, I went on a hike this weekend with my mom. <laughs> like, you do two minutes in, heart's <laughs> pounding. Have you watched My 600-Pound Life? Pounding. Like, oh Bro, you stick one of those – okay, this is a different topic. You stick one of those 600-pound motherfuckers in a hockey goal, nothing is getting by them. They just nothing. have to sit there. Because they're bigger than the goal. That's exactly. illegal. And it's like it the commercial with the walrus. He just yes. smacks it. I'm like, wait, why hasn't someone done that yet? I love why that. Why did the Bruins? It's a walrus. The fails out. Just hire one of these, like, this 600-pound people. Stick them in well, the goal. They win the same. Jack, Easy. Jack, have you ever played hockey before? The doors How? are not that big. Wow. Uh, okay. The doors are well, not they, big. They couldn't get through. They they cut open an extra slot just for him. They bring him on the ice. They put him in front of the net. Done. Easy Stanley Cup. What's getting by him? Tell me. Tell me something that can get by that dude in the goal. Genuine. I'm asking. Diabetes. <laughs> a cheeseburger. Um, the, uh, the Bruins have the opposite issue where their third string goalie, Danny, I know you're a big fan of him, but uh, Darth Vladdy. Dar- uh, how the fuck do you pronounce his name? It's some Dan stupid Blotter. Russian. Dan Vlader. Okay, when you think of a hockey player, keep a hockey player image in your mind. Yeah. That man is six foot three, and I think a hundred and eighty-five pounds. Was it? Oh, oh, oh. Sam, like I think that? he's taller. I think he's taller than six. There's three. no way. I'm looking nope. this up right he now, is, but he is a he is a stick, and they put is, him in goal. Goalies are stick. It are makes no starving sense. him. Holy shit! Because they got to be flexible. That's why. I mean, they can't yeah. be like. Not they got like the fucking pounds, splits. They don't. They can just sit there, right? Liam, yeah. Liam, Daniel my Vladar is, is is he six foot six, one hundred and ninety two pounds? Oh, oh. but he's one of those like one hundred ninety twos where like he's he's super skinny. Six foot one and twenty pounds heavier than he is. What the fuck? That dude's yeah. Brandon Ingram of the NHL. Holy shit. All right. So, well, now that we're on NHL, let, let's kind of hop into there. Dude, I can. Danny, barely... you're a hockey guy. Do you think um, you so could score a goal, or are we talking about impact or positive impact? <laughs> I would, you know, positive, I would like positive, positive impact. impact. Positive yeah. impact. Because I mean, like, I got some chirps. 
I have to you could check somebody. You could you could definitely hit get somebody into the boards. I know Liam, you could. Liam, I you did you come to my men's league game? I did come to your men's league game, but it's a no checking league. So. I don't know if I could check someone. They move so fast, and I couldn't keep up with the men's league guys. <laughs> like I'm not th- I'm not that bad for men's league. Like I I'm bad, but I'm not yeah. that bad. I can keep my stick on the ice. Like you know, I do what I do, but. I think I can make an impact of, I get in someone's head, I'm great at getting beachfront property. You know, Kale McCarr of the Colorado Avalanche, when UMass played Quimpiac, I had beachfront property in his head. <laughs> Sam, these guys are big hockey guys. I know nothing about hockey. Yeah, dude. me neither. Like, okay, literally, okay, I don't even know a lot about Sam, basketball, all, all per se. That... It's literally just the Celtics is all I know. Yeah. All I need to know for you, Jack and Sam, is you're in full pads. You're near the goal. The other team fucking shoots right at you. Are you diving for that puck so you're, like, blocking it with your body? Or are you fucking squirming out of the way? That puck I'm would try to get my glove. That puck would break every <laughs> fucking bone in my body. I broke my skull when I was eight, and if you think my body can handle a 100 mile an hour puck, break your skull on. How do you I got hit in the head with that. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. What? I've never told you guys this story, Danny. No. I'm... What? No, I have not. Oh my god. All right, all right. I guess it's the story time. I um. So I was running around. You guys will know some of these names. Sammy won't because they are from Easton, where I am from. Um, I was eight and I just made the all-star team, right? I was sick. I was good at baseball. This is the peak of my athleticism. I was eight years old. <clears throat> I, I just made it. It was the end of the season, the last game. So everyone's running around the field, right? Cause it, it's about to be summer, whatever. We're chilling, having a good time. I'm running around with my friend at the time. I was good friends with Zach Walsh. Fun fact. I was like best friends with Zach Walsh. He lived on my street. Um, I don't, I don't think I'll ever listen to this. <laughs> um, and shout out Zach Walsh. Shout out Zach Walsh. We're running around and this kid, uh, is swinging a baseball bat. He was in your grade, Liam. Um, Jeff. Jeff, was there Jeff in your grade? Are you uh, about you, Jeff Capice? You, Jeff Capice, yes, that dude. M- Liam, you're muted. I can't hear you. Jeff Capice. Oh, boy, Jeff. I love him. Yeah, yeah. He's huge, right? He's taking practice swings. I'm running around playing tag with Zach Walsh. I run. Whoosh, this dude smacks me straight in the head with a full baseball swing. Almost are we, are nails we, me in the temple. What kind of bat are we talking here? A Luna? metal bat. Full-fledged metal, metal bat. Are we talking like a Dima Remy? Like, no, like we're the... eight. Danny, we're eight. <laughs> we're fucking eight years old. Oh, He's not... So you're hitting with, like, a pretty good aluminum bat. Like, me, ooh. little scrawny eight-year-old Jack, you guys know, I was four foot 11 as yeah. a freshman. I was four foot two when I was eight. Like, I was tiny. It's smaller than that. Boom. Slumped. Just gone. Like, he nails me in the head. Whoosh. I go down to the ground. Best part is, my mom tells me afterwards, she's like, yeah, some woman told me that some poor kid got hit in the head with a bat. I look over it. It's my fucking idiot son who's just slumped on the ground. So you so broke my... your skull? Yes. My dad. My dad some picks me up. idiot kid just got hit in the head with a bat. <laughs> Brutal. My That's dad dumb. picks me up, puts me over his shoulder. He carries me to the car because we didn't want to wait for an ambulance. I get to the hospital. We get there. And the best part is, you know how you get like a goose egg when you get hit in the head? Yeah. Yeah. That the shit went in. Like I got I dented my head. Like there was no goose egg. It went, it's in. like brutal. Yeah, yeah. No, seriously. Oh, they man. take me there. They do the the cat scan thing, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. Boston, Boston Children's the cat scan room looks like Fenway Park. It was sick, first of all. That's that thing was awesome. Boston Children's does it right. I will <laughs> say. But but we get out there and I was I was dumb at the time, right? I was eight. They told me, yeah, he fractured his skull. And at the time I was like, okay, at least I didn't break it, because I didn't know what fucking fracture meant. Yeah, I always okay, thought no, fracture they're... was the best, and then, like, sprain, <laughs> and then yes, broken. Yes, That's yes. how I thought it went. I didn't know the difference between fracture okay. and, like, It turns out fracture and breaking is the <laughs> same thing. <laughs> so now I get to say I broke my skull. There was, like, a crack in it. There was, like, blood in my brain. Like, shit seeped in there because my skull was broken. But uh-huh. I'm good now. But, yeah. You're and then now. Sure. My, the worst part is, uh, there's more to this story. There's layers. I was in second grade, right? Eli, yeah. you guys know Eli, my friend Eli. And Alex Beaterwolf, I have cards because my whole second grade class wrote me cards saying, hope you get better. <laughs> you were that kid? You were the card kid? Oh, <laughs> I, the, I got in there with a the fucking baseball you. bat. What do you mean the card kid? I was gone. And everybody in card school kid. had one kid that you write a card for every year. Bro, the card I kid. Missed, I missed field day. I missed. Oh, pain. I was crying. You know how I, at the beginning of the story I said I made the all-star team? Yeah. I fucking played that season. I had a helmet on in right field, a baseball you're like, helmet. You're, 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 you're like right Paul Pierce after he got stabbed like 11 times. <laughs> yeah, 
was. Except they, they thought it was eighty-two Brent games. Man. They some dude made a comment on the sideline. I'm not gonna say it on the show because we'll say somewhat not get canceled. But he called me a certain R word right on the sideline. <laughs> and <laughs> do you, Danny, you remember Mike Schindler? Yeah. His dad. Like Schindler's came, List. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah the list. Schindler's List actor. He's a yeah. kid in our grade. Mike. His dad is like six six, like a huge dude. He pulls the dude that called me that word aside. That dude never comes back to the game. He just left the baseball field. <laughs> One was wild. My psych teacher just dropped the R word at the beginning of class, like the other day. Shut the fuck up. Dude, and I was like, I, I was like, what's happening? <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, back to the topic. Oh, yeah, baseball yeah, yeah. now. We put you on a field, Jack. You're talking about your heyday. Right. Are you making an impact in that will be game? Um, no, I don't think I could a catch the ball. I don't think I could field the ball well. But if I, you're talking a single, I think I could get the ball and throw it into the infield effectively. Like I don't think I could hit it, but I don't think I could catch it. But if it's like a slow roller in the outfield, I could pick it up and throw it to second base. Yes. I, I mean, I I don't have the hand. Listen, I have hand-eye coordination to play fucking games like Dark Souls and like enjoy myself. So, like, I can obviously move my hands and eyes balls. I can't hit a baseball to save my fucking life. You put a gun to my head and say, hey, Liam, I'm going to throw you a cutter at 78 miles per hour inside. Just shoot me. I can't do it. <laughs> I got long arms. I can't swing the ball right. I don't know how to stand in the box. My head's not in it. My eye's not on the ball. Shoot me. I'm done. Danny. Sam? Sam, yes. Yeah, uh, I feel like I could play baseball because I played baseball a lot. Like, I'm not saying baseball is easy because I think those people are morons, too. Yeah. <laughs> like there are people that genuinely think baseball is like the easiest sport and baseball is probably the hardest sport yeah yeah, yeah. No, maybe, abs- maybe absolutely hockey, hockey. yeah because hockey i can't even cool. skate and then like yeah. you need all the skills on top of being able to skate yeah. true true but um oh, what was i just gonna say baseball is the only sport where you can literally do nothing and get paid for it think about it yep. think about it it's a very small scenario, but say you're the left fielder and the ball doesn't get hit to you the whole game by some chance, you can literally just fucking stand there and you're like, you do nothing and you could just walk. You could literally just stand the whole game and get paid. That right? sounds like heaven to me. I think I could be a lockdown left fielder. Um, Cap. Cap. I don't know about that one. Cap. You guys didn't see me in aerial softball last week. <laughs> get the fuck out. Danny, I'm, you're all right right now. It doesn't sound um, very COVID friendly. Yeah, it I was more friendly. We were wearing masks. Oh, you had to run through. You had to run through all bases, including second, so you didn't have to tag or slide. It was weird, but I am hitting three for four in my first game with two doubles. I absolutely ripped one. I'm locked down in the outfield, basically a Gold Glove lock. I tore up my legs. You see, see here on the cam. <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah, Rit? this is softball, though. I, you, yeah, you yeah. I was gonna say this is different yeah. between no, Boston no, I, and I never, softball I never said I could hit the ball. All right, all right, all right. never. Luck well, luck I could definitely luck. wear one for the team. Jack, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm a gritty guy like that. You know, Fucking if they blood. said that shit would if break they your say, shoulder. Danny, crowd the plate. We need a runner on. We're down by one. Bottom of the ninth. You're not hitting the ball. I'm in there like this. Danny would get I'm slumped. ready to go. <laughs> by fucking... Danny's going to get hit by a pinch and fucking... Bartolo yeah. Colon would step on the mound and beam one in Danny's face. But you Listen, know what? American sexy? hero. American big... hero right here if I do the, that. The, the, who, uh, who's the pitcher that Big Sexy head off of? That must oh, be the most embarrassing man in history. Bartolo uh, Colon. Okay, okay, okay. He has never... He had his first home run, what was it, two, three years ago? Yeah, yeah. And... You know, like, there's nothing better than seeing a fat guy run, especially a fat guy that gets paid to not to specifically not run. So he hits his, this fucking home run and the pitcher just has this most like, oh, that's me. I did that. Honestly, I say give that man a medal. Watching James that Shields. F- it was James, James Shields, Shields on the Padres. <laughs> oh, poor James. Watching that big man run around. That was enough to make me say, all right, I love baseball. You know, like, can, moments like that. It's crazy. He was like a Cy Young pitcher. Like he yeah. wasn't even just a meme. He was a yeah, like a he was insanely good. He was an ace. Yeah. You can throw you guys, him game seven. Can you guys Shout genuinely sit down and watch a game of baseball? Because I can't. Yes. I watched. Uh, listen, you're gonna you're gonna call cap and you're gonna say I'm crazy. I watched every single game of the 2018 World Series Red Sox because I had nothing That's better. Different. To do. First I had of all, better to do that year. Every single, even the regular season. Regular season. I didn't watch Jesus. preseason. I didn't. I didn't watch the uh, no, no. stuff. In no one. No one would. Yeah, because no one cares. 
Why would I? But like, I would be at work. I'd be out at a bar. I'd be out with my friends. Just put my phone up because I was like, this is the year I'm going to watch. And of course, they win. I actually have a replica World Series ring. I don't know if you guys can see it that I custom ordered to commemorate for this lovely occasion. I will but, say, shout out the 2018 Red Sox. The rally they had at Sunday Night Baseball against the Yankees. I'm, I feel completely confident saying, like, I speak a lot out of my ass. I spark that comeback. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Danny. Fenway no. was dead. Fenway was dead. Here I am, starting to <laughs> let go Red Sox chant. I yell, hey, Benny, you feeling a comeback? I am. Well, you know, Ben Tendy walks up, rips a single. You know, we were so back. Everyone's rallying around me. I almost took my shirt off, just ripped it off. My mom said that was the most animated she's ever seen me in my life. I don't like getting animated at Red Sox games, uh, baseball games anymore because Jack and Danny, you'll remember, we went to go see the Cubs in 2016. Yeah. They were down, I think, three in the bottom of the ninth, and they had their last batter up. And I just fucking, I was like, fuck it. I'm, it's my birthday, actually. And I screamed. I was like, let's go, Cubs! And I just screamed. And Charlene, our, our director at the time, looked by, at me and she goes, wow, you really like baseball, don't you? And like that, that <laughs> just caught me. And I was like, I guess. Like, why would you, why would you say it like that? So like, I can't Ouch. get animated. Again director anymore. of what? Our show our choir. We, yeah, our yeah we did music. music. Oh, you guys all did show choir, all of yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's how I know them. See, you uh, guys don't seem like you would do show choir. Thank you. That, that's a compliment. Thank I, I you. Oh, no, Jack, you do. <laughs> Fuck you. What you mean? What you mean? I don't know. Explain. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, if I was to pick anybody here. No, no, explain, Sam. What the fuck? No, I mean, you just have more of like a, you have a voice that I can hear you singing. Like, they don't. Okay. I don't know. I'll take that. With they awesome. seem like very towny. Very, uh, I honestly don't know how to describe <laughs> no, it. Yeah, but... no. Me at the karaoke so, bar, I will very... fuck it. It's over. That's, what they are. That's an adjective. But um, let's yeah. get to the most important sport, basketball. Jack, I actually asked you this question. I don't know if you remember. And I said, Jack, if you were subbed in off the bench about uh, five See, minutes in, you could score a basket? A basket? Fuck no. I'm That's in trash. See, That's we're opposite. I say I could score at least one. I can get one basket. I could get a rebound is what I could do because I'm actually nasty getting rebounds. I am also a nasty rebounder. I could get a rebound. That's I am confident in that. Sam, what do you think? So if if I was playing in the NBA, I couldn't guard anyone. That's for fucking Uh shots. But if you put me in against that Miami zone, I would tear (laughs) them up from the free throw line. That is my that is my hot spot. When I was playing men's league, like I would just live. I'd come up from the block, do like a little like like a coming off a screen, Ray Allen catch and shoot on the free throw line, like money every time. Steve Kerr in the '97 finals, I believe. Yeah, Steve Kerr in the '97. Yeah, that that would be me. I'd I just have some janked up no, number because the Celtics don't have any open numbers. It'd be like number <laughs> sixty-three. Mm-hmm. That that is such a shame that there's no numbers available. That's well, all right. I yeah. think I can make an impact in two ways. Like okay. I said during baseball, I'm a gritty guy. I could absolutely take a charge. All right. I, yeah. I'm the okay. guy that plants the feet, covers the crotch, and just wears one on the chest. But you know I'm on the ground giving the fat point the other way, yelling at the ref for the call, smacking the floor on defense even though I can't guard anyone. Fun fact, the one time in Aaron Murrells I smacked the floor, I got my ankles absolutely snatched out of the gym that the ref walked out the court. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Danny, how many we, charges from LeBron you think you could take? Like physically? Yeah. He's driving towards you. How many times you plant the feet? Do you think before you just fucking die? I give you three. Um, that's a generous three. Over under. Three. What's the sit? What's the game situation? Um. Uh, late in the regular season, uh, playoff hunt. I guess he he's definitely playing for his uh his his supper right now. Like he's coming at you full speed. Yeah. Yeah. Late regular season. So, we're, are we looking for playoff seating or are these meaningless you, games? You are looking for playoff seating. They're, they're real games. Yeah. I will wear every single Shut the fuck charge. Up. He would die. Come, you know, Jack, Have you seen that he man? He's built like you. a Greek god. He would kill you. Well, here's the thing. I only need six. I only need six. <laughs> then he's out. You wouldn't make it to six. You wouldn't make it to six. I would, I, if it was just back to back, 
I'm built different. They don't call me Danny Bright Lights for nothing. (laughs) When the lights are brightest, I show up. Hit the lights, Liam. Hit the lights. I thought they called you Danny Overs because you always bet the over. I they those are my two nicknames, Danny Bright Lights, Danny Overs. Uh, Did you bet the over on this past game? Did any of you bet on this? Because it's six three at the half. And absolutely, I I would never bet on Brian Hoyer. That man is a schmuck. But I also think going back to basketball, I also think I can make a three. Jack. Here. No, Jack. Game. Jack. Here's here's the reason why. We at the Oliver Ames basketball courts. You said ten shots. Do you make one for a million dollars? If you don't take it, you die. I said, yeah, I'm absolutely make one. You said cap. So we backed up from where where we thought an NBA three would roughly be. It took me six shots. Damn. I'm saying if I had, you wouldn't keep time, getting the ball after you missed like three. That wasn't the scenario. Hey, hey, an that's an, po- no, but point minus we're talking 20. about if you were in an actual game, you would not, you would not get the ball. Danny, these are six foot and taller, like six foot seven dudes guarding you as well. How tall like is that, Danny? I'm six, six foot one. one. Six one. All right. That's still well, one, pretty two tall. Two feet dudes, out. Huh? You got to get that arc right. I've seen Danny shooting motion. It's not the prettiest. Danny, would you like to well, tell Sam our one v one record? Would you like to tell Jack, him our one v one? Jack, I can't play defense. I'm not a defensive guy. And I get worn yeah, out. I'm pretty easy. sure our record is like 14 and 3. I'm pretty sure I'm like 14 and 3 against it. I, I gotta I have more than three. One No fucking that. chance you have more than 3. Because after high school, you had like 1. And I, I have a poster to prove it. <laughs> 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 we, we had fucking... Sam, we had gifts, right? Shokar is weird, right? So they give gifts to the seniors or whatever. And so they made me a custom NBA scoreboard that had my record, like 1v1 record against Danny. And it was 13 to 1 or 13 to 0 or something. It was, like, it, is it a functioning scoreboard? Like, no, no, it's like a poster, like a p- piece of paper that they made with our pictures on it. With like, oh, what a it, what a re- gift that was. Yeah, no, it's funny though. But now it acts as proof of my record after high school, and you've beaten me sometimes since then. I'll give you credit. So um, I'm saying like fourteen. Here's my thing though. <laughs> Back to Danny Brightlights. <laughs> no, in aerial playoffs, I'm I average probably like about two points a game if I'm being generous to myself. Amaro playoffs, I fucking dropped like a 20 bomb because I just was lights out from three. When the lights are the brightest, I show up. Danny, you could not okay, make a three. Danny, game seven, NBA finals. They pass the ball to you. You are 100% bricking that shot. Those are the brightest Shots. lights could be. I Shots. don't trust Liam, it. Liam. No, don't start shaking your head like that. Liam, you Liam, Liam, do it. Liam, Liam. They go, bosh, back out to Hanley. The three-pointer, bang, game over. Danny, I don't want to crush your dreams. You will never get a bang call in your life. You will never. None of us will ever get a bang call. Very sad. That's upsetting. You take me to a basketball court, tell me where the NBA three-throw line is, and I will make one. I will make a a three-pointer. Cap. 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 Negative cap. Negative cap. All right, since we're on the topic of basketball, Jack, can I segue into my other point? Yeah, about... you can, let's go. I, I always look at uh, sports players, and, you know, I look at, like, um, like f- actual football players, like soccer. I'm like, these, you know, these guys are pretty good looking. And you then say I look actual at Ameri- football? Yeah, like actual football. I like respect soccer. that. Yeah. Wait. Um, oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Did you say not soccer, or did you say soccer? No, I, like, I look at soccer players, and I'm like, I look at Ronaldo or Messi, and I'm like, these are so pretty you- good. God. Yeah, he, he regards that. soccer as actual football, is what he said. Oh, I And then I look that. at, uh, and I'm Thank gonna you. use this as my point. I think that if I fought, like if I could fight anybody in the sports world, I would beat the ever loving shit out of Trey Young because I think that is the <laughs> main in sports at this moment. He just has this face I want to fucking cave in. And you know, big <laughs> shout out to his game. I respect his game a lot. But like, if I met him in a bar parking lot, like I'm sorry, it's over. But that being said, if you guys could fight one person in the sports world right now, who would it be? I think I could beat Okay, I have two answers to this. This is actually really funny because this is something I say all the time. Um, <laughs> if if I ever saw LeBron on the street, I'd kill him. You would know. No. <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> LeBron would sna- Sam, I've never even seen you in real life. LeBron would snap you like a twig. Oh, You'd no. be like a See, everyone body. says that, but like, I would no, be so no. angry, I would kill him. I'm not a LeBron dick rider. Dude, I can't but... hit a fucking three in the NBA. Oh, and you're yeah. telling me you can kill LeBron James. This is absolutely... I might not kill him, but I, I'd give him a good I'd give him a good one. Okay, two. why do you get think two punches he... in before he snapped you? Think? I oh I it, it would not go well for LeBron. Shut the fuck up. Wait, 
are 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 you faster than him? Do you think? No. Oh, I just I. I, I, my anger rage. would take over. I hate rage. that guy. I think I think Sam's using the rage card, which is fair enough. I, I don't think there's anybody that I hate more than him. I mean, if Maybe. we're going off like UFC and stats, then, reach and so, wingspan. All right, so, and then my more realistic one is I could one thousand percent beat Kyrie's ass, and that is a fact. He's scrawny. He's about the same size as me. I have beef with him. He, he also went no to chance. Duke, so he's so soft. Like, Duke's the softest yeah. school in the world. He's the softest guy ever. True, true. If uh, I saw I think... him, I might kill him. I mean, <clears throat> you, you'd have to pray for him. I mean, I'm trying to think of basketball players, but I, I have one off rip. We mentioned him. I could beat the shit out of Brian Hoyer. I, I could clap that dude. Like, any of us, I, I think. You could beat up any NFL player. Yeah, maybe kickers. Brian Hoyer, 40-year-old like, man. Balding. The Colts kicker, the Colts kicker, you could put in a body bag. <laughs> any <laughs> human, any human on earth can put that kid in a body bag. He said, "Oh, they were like, oh, what'd you do the night before your first NFL game?" He's like, "Ah, oh, yeah, I built a Lego set." Like, what? That kid. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! I will not tolerate any Lego slander right now. You better watch your I'm, mouth. No, listen, I'm fine with Legos, but I'm just saying I could beat the shit out of him because he stays home beating building legos okay do you think you could beat the shit out of andy reed because by that logic they're like oh what'd you do after you won your super bowl and he's like oh, i had a bacon cheeseburger like yeah, um, by that logic are we are we boxing no it's a street fight fist no, fight. just like you see him in a parking lot and you're like so what's up with well, all if it's a street fight the kicker can kick you true yeah but he's got to get set and he's got to come in from an no, angle he doesn't he doesn't have to get set. He's yeah, not a like rocket. He, can... he can't kick his legs straight up in the air. <laughs> is he? Like can? On, on cue. I feel like not you just flexible? kicked Danny the no. balls. Danny Kickers gone. are the softest people in the league. You put a fucking timeout right before they do it, they shit their pants. They're like, oh, I got iced. Oh, I got to The laces were out? What? I, I missed it because the laces were out. No, they're pussies. Sorry, Danny. I, I know you want to be a kicker, back, but. Back to your story. I think I could be Andy Reid in a fight because yes. there's no man there's no way that man can throw more than one punch and not be gassed <laughs> true, true, true yeah I, I going back that. to the like 600 pound goalie like that man would be a perfect goalie but he'd be gassed just getting on the ice also person I think I could beat up in the um NBA I'm not saying I would want to because I really like this player and I think he's a nice like he seems like a nice dude I feel like I could beat up Duncan Robinson because I don't think he'd punch me back why would you ever want <laughs> I don't to think he'd punch me back. Yeah, no, facts. I feel like I just beat him and he'd take it and be like, I'm sorry. <laughs> he'd just sit there apologizing while I beat his ass. Right? Like, he's 6'7". He's a tall dude, but he's scrawny. He, he's like, I don't know, man. He's from Maine, Danny. Or Jack. He's from Maine. He's from like, that's, a, that's like one of the nicest areas. No, I think he's from... Um... Maine's Maine is the south of New England. Maine sucks. Maine. Fuck Maine. Maine. What do you what mean? What are you talking about? Maine is awful. Maine's beautiful. Yeah, you ever been I've up to a been, it's not, like beautiful. like voluntarily living in Maine? Yeah, why would you like? I would voluntarily so far away from everything. Yes, dude, I went there once. I wanted to watch my friend's show. Me and my friend, my other friend Danny, went to watch. It was Jacob's show up there. He did he does theater, so we went to see him. Every was two seconds. Was anything good? It was Mamma Mia. It was actually pretty good. I enjoyed it. Here but. I go again. <laughs> Abba didn't miss. Abba didn't miss. Like that's all I'm saying. Is it Abba or Abba? I thought it was Abba. Uh, it's, it's whatever you're Abba. feeling like. Like I after after a beer or two, it. I'll start busting out an Abba, but I usually go Abba. All right. Anyways, every two seconds in the car we're driving, I see an empty garage parking, like uh, one of those like car garages with just like broken down cars in it. Every like two like two feet, it, there's one of those. It's all trees. It sucks. Maine is awful. Maine is the the Alabama of New England. It's oh. trash. Maine is trash. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that because every time I go up to Maine, it's lovely and it's beautiful. Hey, hey. Right. Even Alabama probably has nice places. It doesn't mean it's not Alabama. Uh, I don't know about that part. Alabama is kind of a shit place except for university. Except. Uh, except. Keyword except. Yeah, but that's like one place like Augusta, Bangor. It's how many massive. places? It's... Yeah. How many places have you been to in Maine? Uh, a good amount. Maine Jack, I think no. how much that like I've explored New England. It's beautiful. Maine they sucks. got Acadia State Park up there. It's wonderful. Maine sucks. Acadia looks great. I, Jack, my mic. You, you wait. Do you have the slide pop filter on? Yeah, I can tell I you. So. Mine sounds sexier when I get real close. Fuck you, Liam. 
Maine makes me want to do things. Also, I want to bring up a point real quick. Um, whoever said Kyrie Irving is from Duke, that makes him soft. Jason Tatum is from Duke, so I want to I want to ask about that. Do you think you think Tatum is soft? Um, Jason Tatum's from the streets. That's <laughs> no, where he's false, but he went to Duke. Yeah, and look, that does take some points out for him. Like if I'm being honest, Duke <laughs> is the, like the softest thing in the world. I mean, like JJ Redick. Jason Tatum, Redick is fucking cool. Christian Leitner. Like, it's not a good track record. I'll give Danny that. It's I like J- I like JJ Redick. I, I like, like JJ a- Redick too, but still. Like, you I can't like- tell me Zion's a gritty guy. He's not. <laughs> no, I, I feel like they're trying to push that angle too. Ready? Like- um, okay. RJ Barrett. Uh that I like- dude sucks. <laughs> I like him. He sucks everywhere else. Yeah, yeah. He's oof. Um, so we, we talked about who could you beat up. Is there anybody you oh, wait, want? No, wait, no, I, I still need to say mine. I still need to say mine. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're what? right, Eric. Okay. I have a good one. Yeah, yeah, okay. Rory McElroy. I could beat the <laughs> shit out of him. Culvers don't count. <laughs> golfers don't count. Golfers absolutely count. You said no. pro <laughs> athletes. I'll, I'll give them golfers. They do I could beat the shit out of most golfers. Uh, no, except for John, I, I could get my, I'd get my, ass. and Bryson DeChambeau. Bryson DeChambeau would beat my ass. Bryson would pop your head like a cherry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd pay to see that. That'd be fun <laughs> entertainment. That'd be more entertaining than most golf. How many? Another like, thing about golf, I think. Hear me out. Here, this is. Hear Whenever Danny out. says "hear me out," you know it's about to be some bullshit. I just want to let you know. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Come on, Danny. Uh, I'm hearing you out. Two things. One, I think I can win the U.S. Amateur in 10 years. I have a bet with my roommate that I will. Danny, you're um, going to make me fucking walk off this Danny, show. Danny, I played golf with you 20 not. times this summer. You did not win a single match. Jack, here's my other thing. All right. I said if I could be consistent, I could be on tour. Danny. You're not Dave Portnoy. You're never going to fucking amateurs. Like, you're done. No, you're not. I absolutely could be on tour. I will get, like, golf memberships. We will golf all next summer. Like, I will genuinely golf with you. You will never be on the, the, the PGA Tour. Never. I will absolutely be on the PGA Tour. always talks never. about consistency. I don't think you understand how hard it is to be consistently good at a pro sport. Like, look at people, like, tearing apart Kemba Walker for having, like, a fucking shooting slump. Like, do you know how hard it is to be consistent? I, I, never, I, never, I never said that. I said, if I was consistent, I have the raw talent ability. Yeah, bro. I have the raw talent ability to be on the PJ Tour. Cap. I call it major cap. Negative cap. Danny. The only difference between me and Tiger Woods is he's had more practice. <laughs> wow. a, a, a pro athlete. What? I'm going to clip this. This is going to be the teaser for the episode. And that's the fucking the difference. most egregious shit you've ever it's... said to me in my life. <laughs> Oh listen, God. listen. If I was bred to be a golfer, yeah, like you see videos of Tiger Woods him putts at two. I didn't touch golf clubs till I was like nineteen. Okay, that so he had, a, he had a seventeen-year head start in the most formative years of his life. He was golfing. If I was doing that, there's no chance I'm not being Tiger. What Woods. were you doing in your formative years? What were you doing <laughs> that you could be good at now? Uh, he was avoiding all protein and eating yeah, eating a lot of pizza, uh, eating goldfish. Yeah. Sam, you know, fun fact about Danny: Danny, Danny didn't eat chicken until about like two months ago. He just, like he didn't eat protein. Danny eats chicken sort. now. Danny eats chicken. I eat everything, Liam. Danny, Danny eats chicken. Can you, can you explain? You know to what you were missing diet? out on? Chicken yeah. is like the best food. Chicken he didn't eat either. Not, not eat only anything. is chicken the best food, but it's not even terrible for you. That's like it's not bad. Crazy. It depends on how you prepare it, but like most chicken, really good for you. Senior year of high school, Danny's diet consisted of grilled cheese and goldfish. Oh, uh, and don't forget, don't forget pink and lemon from a can. From a can, pink Guys, lemon. Guys, here's the, the thing. I was a specimen. It's incredible I wasn't 600 pounds. I, I yeah, I, yeah. I will give you that. Like, we fair. have to be, like, they missed out on a chance to study my body. <laughs> Because, like, I did, you're right. I had no protein in my life. It's crazy that I just stayed alive. And was like, and it was just like, I wasn't even that, like, out of shape. You weren't? No, you were pretty good. I remember going to your house and you being like, oh, grab a snack. And it was like three of those big industrial fucking Costco Gold. sizes of goldfish. <laughs> and he's like, oh, grab a Gatorade or a lemonade. And I'm like, 
Can I have, like, real food? Always. Wait, Sam, what's the best flavor of Gatorade? Let me ask you this. What's the best flavor? Oh, that's tough. There's only, there's I haven't had like Gatorade one in a really long time, actually. I, I like lemon lime. I also like orange. <sighs> Oh, no, getting, light man. blue. Light, people light like blue. the blue, yeah. Pe- people really like blue. I, I, don't, blue like, I don't like blue anything, really. The light blue I don't think it's felt that really great. watered down. I think, that's, I think that's, that's all mental, Danny. Danny only ever mental. drinks yellow. That's all I ever see at his house. No, not even yellow. It's the Hold green. On. Green is weird. Danny definitely is going to bring out a case of yellow fucking Gatorade right now already. Let's the see. The amount of times I've been hung over at Danny's house and I've been like, give me something to drink and he hands me a fucking lemon lime Gatorade. It's disgusting. <laughs> triggering my throat my gas. brought out a six pack of yellow gator <laughs> oh. Dude, lemon lime lemon lime gator it's good i don't care what the haters say every time i see that yeah. i it's also ruined, wanted to bring, it's ruined it i want to bring this up say you're in like deontay wilder's body you're like a big motherfucker right if you could choose any athlete to beat up like you have full capabilities LeBron. to do so. it's LeBron. okay yeah i know your answer I'd kill him, I'd kill him. <laughs> not, not to say i wouldn't now how big is Deontay Wilder right now? He's six seven, something like yeah, that. Yeah, he's six seven, like built. Like it doesn't even have to be Deontay Wilder. Just you have full capability of beating up any athlete you want to. Who do you choose? Like it's LeBron. I'd I choke him out. I know you would choose LeBron. <laughs> okay, besides Here, LeBron. Okay, if I could beat up one person. Kyrie. Does Kyrie. anybody here watch <laughs> UFC? Am I the only one that watches it a little bit? I don't watch it a lot. No, I don't watch it. Okay, there is a UFC fighter. Michael, I always pronounce his name wrong. Uh, it's per- Piera. Either way, he's like this five foot seven Brazilian that just does backflips in the middle of the ring, then gets the no, shit kicked. I know who you're talking about. I would love to just beat the fucking bricks out of that guy. Because like, beat I love- the fuck out of someone this no, weekend. He did. He did beat the fuck out of somebody, and that's why I'm like starting to like. It would probably be him. Because he would do a backflip and then like try and do some shit. I just want to rock him and be like, "There you go. Now stop." Do you have an athlete? Um, I have two. These All are right. very. It's very recency bias here. Um, Odell Beckham Jr. I was gonna say that. <laughs> and uh, number thirty-two on the Cowboys. Because I had Cowboys plus four this week on a little teaser action. Oh. And the Cowboys come all the way back. They're fucking pounding the ball. Dak's looking like an elite quarterback. Then Odell runs that fucking end around bullshit. And he takes it to the house. Which fucks my whole plus four thing. And then the Cowboys go on a miracle. They block the extra point. I'm like, oh shit. This is huge. This could help me cover. No. Number 32 decides to have bricks for hands and doesn't pick up the ball and it he kicks into the end zone and the Browns pick it up. Are we crazy? Are, do we forget how to play football? I'm sorry, but I remember Savion Smith. Savion Smith is 32 on the cup. Fuck that guy. <laughs> that guy clearly had never had his coach yell at him for dropping a ball and have the whole team yell, ball, balls on the ground, ball, ball, ball. That's I need to play football, and I knew that, and I'm just pissed, bro. All right. My, my, <laughs> he's having a fucking hernia. My one player – wait, do you want to explain Odell? For him now? Oh, um, he did. He said the end around, it screwed him. Yeah, um, also, he's just kind of like a bitch. Like, I don't yeah, know. That was one of my – He loves to be shitted on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I fucking shit on his chest after I beat the shit out of him. <laughs> He'd get off, Danny. You Jack, explain yours. Okay. We don't kink shame here, by the way. <laughs> You're right. You're right. You're right. So you're right. non-kink we, we did, shaming podcast. We, <laughs> we discussed this on From the Raptors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we a, don't do okay. any of that here. All right. I'm not saying that this guy isn't a great basketball player. I think he's really good. There's some controversial Is it LeBron? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna take yours. But I think he's a fucking bitch. I would beat the fuck out of Ben Simmons. Fuck that guy. He just. Seems I'm with like you on that one. I'm with there with. I'm like with it. it. He's Australian, yeah. so you know what? He doesn't deserve. So, low key, low key. After that shit he pulled last night, I'd also just beat the fuck out of Tyler Hero. Like, what was that snarl? That was no, the I'm dumbest cool shit. I've ever I, seen. I, I feel Hero like I could dog. kick his ass now. He's no, another one. I feel like I Tyler could Hero kick his got ass hood now. tendencies. Quote Jimmy Butler. I'd be afraid to fight. Yeah, he Tyler got hood Hero. tendencies. He's from the suburbs of Milwaukee, <laughs> from like a nice family, and he he was like, yeah, like you know, I had a tough upbringing. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Like that. They they like believe themselves to be hard, so they just like kind of act hard. Like they just Dude, get there's into the so ma- There's so many of those kids at Quinnipiac. I go to a rich preppy ass school, and there's so many kids that just think they're hard. You're not. This school is the least hard thing you could ever go to. 
I want to say that I actually did grow up in a very not nice area, and I'm the complete opposite. I'm one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. So, like, that's kind of weird. That, and like, humble, too. And humble. You know, never forget. <laughs> humble. humble. <laughs> never forget. But then you got people like Tyler Harrow who grew up very spoiled, and they're like, the coolest thing I could do is act like I'm poor. I don't know. That just, that just, like, never sat right with me. But everything else, I think he's a great basketball player. And if I could, like, have a beer with him when he's 21, I would love to do that. So, Tyler Harrow, Tyler Harrow, you watching this, shout out. Uh, I'll buy the first round. He's a great player. He's a great player. That snarl was just weird. I respect it, dude. He's a beast. But, like, it just looked weird. (laughs) Liam, Liam, Liam. Do you think I'm hard? Am I hard? No, not at all. (laughs) You like... Grow, are you talking about like now or like watching you grow up? Because the answer yeah. is no, both ways, but for different reasons. No, now, like, am I just hard? Like, no, I... no, because you have a case of Gatorade ready to show off. And is that is that your frat flag hanging on the wall that I? See? <laughs> yeah, um, automatic frat. He yeah, is in a... in a frat. So automatic. I discussed yeah. frats with you yet, Jack? No, but Guys, it's uh, it's fraternity. Uh, actually, thank you. I think frats are the dumbest thing. I think they're dumb, but for the wrong reasons. Like, I'm cool with the brotherhood, but, like, I don't like repping things, like, out loud a lot. So, like, Alpha Sigma Pi, get fucked, but, like, keep doing your thing. But why do you hate them, Sam? Well, first of all, now, I didn't initially know that you had to pay to be in them. Did not know that. (laughs) That is stupid. Did not know you had to pay. But I do that you have to do, like, stupid hazing shit to be in it, and that's stupid. Um, now, that. I know you're not really supposed to talk about it, so I'm not going to ask you what you had to do. I will. Right? Oh, yeah. All right, Jack can Andy, ask what'd you. what you have to do? All right, so... Um, <laughs> so, talking about costs, a lot of it's just, like, the international, like, headquarters. Like, they're all fucking dicks. Like, D-U-I-H-Q, if you hear this, literally gargle my nuts. Fuck yourself. <laughs> Love that. They Sorry. like, they just absolutely rip us off, like through insurance and all other bullshit. It's just so pay stupid. insurance for what? <laughs> if they shove a stick up your ass? I would assume the house, right? You pay for the house. We oh, don't right, have a right. we don't have a house, but then why are you in a flat? If you don't have a house. Yeah, we have house? like we have like off campus house, but there's no like house house. That's a bad. So what's the point then? I don't know. It's cute. Quimpiac doesn't have it's like cute. It's cute. cute. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't say cute. I meant to say Q U. I meant to okay. say Q U, and I changed it to Quimpiac. Come on now. Okay, okay. Um, but like insurance in case like anyone does any fuck shit. There's a lawsuit. Whatever. They're supposed to cover our ass. Will they actually know because they're money hungry fucks? Um, did you get hazed? Uh, a lot of hazing is just like drinking stuff and like stupid stuff. Like, one thing I had to do was I had to give a weather report every day and send it out at, like, midnight for the next day. They were kind of funny. I took them in, like, random places, and I was just like, what's going on, guys? Uh, I took one in the shower, like, wearing a raincoat, and I was like, there's a (laughs) tropical rainstorm coming in. Make sure to bring your raincoats for class tomorrow. And, like, it was all stupid stuff. So it was like, yeah, there is, like, some, like, hazing stuff but like not like really bad now i know somebody who was in a frat right and he was telling me he's like oh to get in the frat we had to do this thing called the elephant walk <laughs> i the did elephant not walk. elephant walk i did not what is that what is that That's he a knows big, what like, the elephant thing. walk is the elephant walk is fucked <laughs> what is yeah, it so um, what the fine. elephant walk is is from from my understanding correct me if i'm wrong the elephant walk is you take your thumb and <laughs> first of all you're in the line so you take your thumb and you put it um up the guy in front of you's ass <laughs> and then you grab the guy behind you's dick if i'm not mistaken that's what it is and then i think oh. you walk <laughs> i'm i'm honestly confused on elephant walks as well i know you grab someone's dick i'm not sure if it's in front behind what have you i, I hope not it's not the guy in front of you's dick that'd be fucking worse you go underneath you went up and first? under Worse than like going thumb in the ass? Are you kidding? Okay, no, no, no. okay, that's okay. It's better than that. Can I usually? Because usually you're like you're like on all fours almost, and you're just like holding the guy's dick. (laughs) All right, that's why. That's that's it's a classic hypothetical. 
that's been asked a thousand <clears throat> times over. It really brings the boys together. You know, it separates the men from the boys. Danny, I'm going to ask you because you already look uncomfortable. Actually, no, I'm going to ask Jack because I haven't asked Jack a question in a hot minute. All right. Um, all right. You're in a room. Yeah. Your, mo- your mom's laying in front of you. Uh, your dad's uh, laying behind you. Uh, You're both naked. Uh, you got to move an inch forward or an inch backward to get out of the situation. Which way are you going? Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I stopped listening. Re- say it one, <laughs> more time. one more time. One more time. All right. You're, you're in between your mom and your dad. <laughs> They're both naked. You're naked as well. You got to move forward or backwards to get out of this situation, Jack. Which one are you taking? Who's in front of me? Your mom. Backwards. Easy. Okay. I just, I just like seeing Easy. where your head's at. Easy. Like backwards, backwards is the easy answer. Yeah. That's, like, that's my, my guy. Like, <laughs> that's I mean? my guy. No, <laughs> that's my dog. That's my bro right think, there. My thing, my thing, I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure because, like, how close are we? Um, you guys, like, don't go fishing every weekend. But, no, like, no, you know. like, physical distance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, like, like if you move, like, forward or backwards at all, like, you're you're already making your bed and laying in it. Like, you're fucked either way. Oh, oh, okay. So, like, you, like, there's no, like, wiggle room, like, I can go to the side a little bit. Like, no, like. Wait, what is the positioning of I don't know. Just make up the positioning in your head, dude. I didn't write this one. My hypotheticals that I make up myself are fucking stupid and long. Dan, Liam, what would you do? Is your answer the same backwards? No. I'd hold my breath until I pass out and let fate decide. <laughs> Motherfucker. I don't that's want to make that choice. Whatever way the cards fall, you know, that's where I'm going. You scammed us into making a choice and then don't give us your answer. Uh, I guess my dad, because my uh, my dad's kind of cute. Love. Hey, Sean, shout out to you. All right. Before we start to wrap this up, I have one, one more hypothetical. You can give me one word answer. You can give me a couple sentences. As you guys know, Bill O'Brien just got fired from the Texans, right? He got fired today. Dog shit. Yeah. Terrible coach. Brett Brown, you could argue, is just as bad. Terrible with the Sixers. Who Brett do you Brown think would man. do better? Brett Brown, yeah, for Celtics fans, we love him because he's <clears throat> garbage. Do you think Brett Brown would do a better job coaching the Texans? Or do you think Bill O'Brien would do a better job coaching the 76ers? Sam, this I'll start with you. This is a stupid question, Jack. I'm sorry. Why is this a stupid question? They're both yeah. dog shit. Who would do better? <laughs> Do you think either one, okay, fine. Do you think either of them could do a better job than the other one at that sport? No. Do you think Bill O'Brien could do no. a better job coaching the Sixers than Brett Brown? No. Maybe. Wow. Maybe. Bill O'Brien would Brett fuck Brown up a cup of coffee, so let alone a fucking NBA team. <laughs> I mean, he he would trade it for a fucking dust bunny. Yeah, like I, want a, I want a six round pick for uh, Joel Embiid. <laughs> <laughs> uh sir there is Bill not a uh, six, round. six round picks uh all right nope, nope, that's, that's uh, in the compound give me two thirds yeah you know, three three <laughs> makes yeah. oh my fucking god uh, all, right. all right fine fine different different last question then how's your fantasy football team doing this season one with that I, sam you play fantasy right i do play fantasy right. football even though we'll i hate football I, I think it's the dumbest thing fantasy is fun though like we we fantasy is a good yeah, time I think. fantasy is fun how's your team doing sam or um, one and two should not be one and two, but I am. Same. Um, and should I win today, which I should, I'll be two and two. Um, but yeah, my favorite part about fantasy football is that I don't know anything about football. So when people lose to me, they get really pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. Who's your, who's your ringer? Who's your best player? So it was Christian McCaffrey, but he decided to hurt himself. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so gotcha. <laughs> right now, who went off for me this week? I honestly don't know. I got gotcha. you. But you're, you're one and two on the way to being two and two. Hopefully. Uh, all right, all right. Mine, I have two leagues. One is I'm in a league with these guys. I had a bunch of people from high school. I got Aaron Jones. I started Joe Burrow. He did well. But I'm down 18, I believe, with three players left, and my opponent has one left. Uh, hopefully, I can keep Dwint, our other friend Danny, we call him Dwint, uh, winless, because he's 0-3, and I should be able to beat him this week. And in my league, I call it the Texas League, because it's with my friend from Texas. Me and my brother Henry split a $50 entry fee to that, and it's a pot of over 700 bucks that we for us to win. And if you guys know my brother Henry, he's won, I think, four out of the six years we've done our high school league. So we're going to fucking win that motherfucking money you already know our team's dominant so i i should be on track to win i, I already won that one 
without the games playing tonight and I have a player left. So I dominated Texas, but it, it'll be down tonight uh, to see if I can win this one. But uh, I'm pretty confident. Uh, Danny, what about you? How's your team? Um, my team, it's weird. I'm, I probably have a very mediocre team with very boomer bust potential. Mm-hmm. I got Zeke. I got Josh Jacobs. I got Adam Thielen. I got DK Metcalf. I got Aaron Rodgers. On the That's, surface. Sounds great on paper. I'm one and two. And mm-hmm. unless Aaron Rodgers drops 37, <laughs> I lose this week. So to I'm TJ. a one in, to TJ. I'm a one in three team. I usually Not- put up. Week one, I put up like one choice. Oh, get in there, Burkhead. Get in. Oh, no, fuck. don't know Burkhead. I don't want the points. <laughs> Continue, Danny. <laughs> um, on the surface, my team looks like it should be, but it's just not. Uh, and I just, I just I, don't know what to do. I, I traded Odell. I thought that was the right move. Odell is fucking three <laughs> touchdowns stupid. this week. That's stupid. another reason I want to fight him. Stupid. I would have given you. I would have given you more for Odell. Henry told me you traded him to him. I was like, Danny, I would have given you like Will Fuller and someone else, which would have been a much better package. I told you Odell was on the train block. It was a very open message. I know Henry got there first. It's my fault. But Henry's just, sneaky. Henry's a I sneaky I Fuck. liked my trade. Odell for who did I trade for? Chris Davis, Corey Davis. Mm. Not terrible. Mm. All right. All right. Oh, no, like one touchdown this like yeah. before this week. So like, now what he had three yeah. that last week. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, he made up for it. Liam, how's your uh, how's your team doing? Uh, I am two and one in a very stacked division. You and uh Jack and Danny are in their own division. Uh, I'm in the opposite one. Uh, their division is not doing that good. Uh, as far as A Pan is winning, and that's depressing. Yeah, he A-Pan is two and one. Yeah, the best record is two and one. We're all two and one. Uh, I'm projected to get 108 to uh, Jacobs 79, so that's an easy win. But I always think with my thing, I also thought I had a bust, but now that I'm like re-looking at my team, I'm pretty set. I got Tom Brady and Deshaun Watson kind of alternating the starting QB role. Then I got fucking Tyreek Hill, Calvin Ridley, Keenan Allen, the Pats defense, George Kittle, and my RB2 is um, Jarek McKinnon. The guy that is the new running back for the 49ers. So I'm pretty set. I'm not saying I'm a lock to win this year, but I'm just saying ESPN Fantasy keeps putting me at number seven, and I'm just tired of all the disrespect. So, all right. Yeah, straight up fuck ESPN Facts. with their projected rating. It's all bullshit. It's I sad. actually hate ESPN, like, in general. Just in general. Like, yeah. I just don't like ESPN. ESPN sucks. This should be the new sports hub right here. Banner who, are they, who are they say is going to be the number one in our league? I think, I think TJ. There's no way TJ's going to Or maybe I'm it. tripping. It's, TJ, no, that it's Jacob. Schmuck. It's Jacob. Jacob's team is dirty. I'm, I'm really... mopping the floor with Jacob. Yeah, but on paper, Jacob, I, Jacob has a dirty team on paper. It's because Devontae Adams hurt. Okay, he has... So the guy I'm playing against is the guy that's projected to win our league. He has Kyler Murray, Rex Burkhead, Adrian Peterson, Devontae Adams, Julian Edelman. Uh, he does have Mark Andrews from the Ravens. So, he you know, was I... ravaged with injuries. Rasheem Mostert hurt. Derrick Henry on a bye week. Jarvis Landry on the bench. Devontae Adams hurt. And he played him, Liam. He played an injured player. No fucking shit you won the match. What do you mean? Yeah, you well, you know what? Maybe maybe should fantasy should, you know, recognize that that like I'm just superior and they should put me at number one. Like I'm just tired of all the disrespect. I'm the <laughs> underdog. Right. What does Dave Portnoy always say? A hungry dog runs faster. I'm running so fucking fast right now. You don't understand. I'm hitting mock speeds right now. <laughs> Catch me in the playoffs. Uh, all right. We're going to wrap this up here. I'm going to ask all of you guys. You can say whatever you want uh, to outro yourself, I guess. Just uh, give me your fantasy football name, though. I want you, I want your team name. So I'll start with you, Danny, and then we'll go Liam and Sam, then I'll wrap us up. Danny, what's your team um, name? Mine is Cincinnati Zoo is run by ISIS. Rest in peace to my boy Harambe. Uh, is this my outro, too? Is this yeah, my yeah, outro? Yeah, you can say what you need to say. Um. Also, for my outro, if anyone has any connects to D1 schools, <laughs> I have eligibility. I'm graduating this spring, but can do a master's program. What's your Twitter? DannyHands12? I, I don't think, know. Yeah. Um, please reach out. I'm down to do a tryout, whatever. Um, also, bet the over. That's all. Liam? I have a really stupid name. Mine is uh, Let's Fucking Go Poggers. Because you know what? <laughs> fucking nerd. You, you know? Um, I love it. I eat dogs, Poggers so as in go. Star Poggers. Wars? No, Poggers is in the Twitch emote. Like, Poggies. Like Poggs. Let's oh. fucking go. Gutex. Yeah, yeah. It's a meme. Um, it's a meme thing. 
My my out statement is again, ladies. I'm six four. If you want to go to a nice steak <laughs> yeah. dinner, I don't. I don't think we get too many ladies. Let's <laughs> yeah, it's show. like twelve percent. Hey, like... listen, anybody listening, if your sister's kind of hot, like you know, <laughs> shoot me a DM. Um, if anybody wants somebody that can just sit on camera and make stupid noises for like two dollars an hour, I'll do that. Uh, hit me up on Twitter, Liam D S C L. Mwah. All right, Sam. Do you want me to go last, or do you want to go last? Uh, I'll go. Yeah, I'll go. Um, <clears throat> my team name is Lefty Lives On. Uh, that can be a story for the next episode of Within Heckling Distance because it's long. I don't think I've told Sam that story, but uh, I've no, def- I have these not two heard. definitely know about it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'll, I'll tell that next time. It'll be funny. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Bannertown Jack. I think this went well. I'm hyped to keep doing this. Was fucking hilarious. Uh, Liam, you're not six four. And Dan, you cannot be an NFL kicker. I'm I, sorry. I could absolutely. Be right, what kind of friend are you? You're just discouraging them. Yeah, of course what? I am, because yeah, fucking wrong. What, back what kind week. of like these these bullshit lies? I can't let them go on like that. Sam, uh, go ahead. Sam. Fuck you, <laughs> Jack. Okay. Um, <laughs> my 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 name is uh actually Gay Frogs FFC. <laughs> now I don't know if you're familiar with um Alex Jones. Tired of them putting chemicals in the water. Yes. Yeah. So like a couple years ago, I thought that was the funniest shit ever. And so I made it my fantasy football name. And because I hate football and I really enjoy soccer, uh, FFC Fantasy Football Club. But that's that's my name. Wait, Sam. Uh, yeah. Sam, are you are you a Revs guy? Uh, I am a Liverpool guy. I'm also a Liverpool ah, guy. I'll no. take it. I'll really? Take it. Danny Tottenham is. Guy. Top Spurs. Oh, Spurs. Spurs. <laughs> yeah. How, Massive you guys Liverpool fucking guy. Just Fuck throttled you. Man United this week. <laughs> yeah. no. But we all, Liverpool got throttled this week, so like. Yeah, I know. It was tough. Yeah. As the doing, it was tough. I was doing a, uh, so I'm in a sports writing class, and we have to do a game story, and I was like, oh, like, I don't care about what's going on in the finals. Like, I'll do this. I've never written soccer before. <laughs> Paper wrote itself. I mean, <laughs> jeez. Oh, all right. Oh, jeez, but, Jesus right. Jesus yeah, it's tough. Tough watch. Unbelievable. Yeah. But um, yeah, this is a fun show. Um, you can follow me at Bannertown Sam. You can follow us at Bannertown USA. That's where you'll find this. Um, that's our show for today. Bye. <laughs>